Well, what's up guys, Joel back with you for another video here on the Snap-on Tool Review today. Uh, you know what, sometimes in the shop, uh, especially in the dealership level, we have to deal with interior stuff. Um, customer states, heated seat, it's not working. So uh, we have a part here for it. We're gonna take the seat out. I'm gonna show you guys the process uh, and the tools needed to uh, do the heated seat pad um, on generally most vehicles with heated seats, not just a Hyundai. So. This is kind of general for everybody. So uh, let's get to it. Alright, so obviously when we are doing a repair like this, uh, there always is a risk of damaging body panels and stuff like that. So, uh, so protecting the vehicle is kind of key uh, at this point. So, we, you know, we like to drape some seat covers and some floor mats or whatever. Um, I like this one. Uh, this is the uh, the hood or the the fender protector. Um, anytime you bring this thing out, these things here. Uh, the brackets of the seat can can scratch and all that kind of shit. So, uh, there's four uh, bolts, two on each end of the seat, so front and back. Uh, you got to take those out. You do have to position your seat in order so that you can get the front and the back bolts. We'll go behind in the back seat here and we'll take out the back ones. All right, so once you get the, the seat unbolted and uh, ready to come out, first you gotta undo your SRS stuff and your uh, the wiring harness to the seat itself. Um, and that contains, well, there is a control box back there for the heated seats, um, as well as obviously your, your your airbags and all that stuff. Unplug all that stuff. Uh, you can't take that stuff out. Uh, you'll rip it right out of the floor. So obviously, right guys? So, um, so yeah, let's go do that and uh, let's get that all done. So obviously with a job like this, you need a good place to work, a good open place. Um, all these panels go on uh, in a way they, that you, they have to come off in a certain, uh, certain way um, in order to go back together properly. So uh, just basically, you know, if you guys can look at it, there's a mass confusion of wires down here. So sometimes you don't know what to take off. Sometimes you do. Uh, maybe you've done it before. I've, I've, we've done a few of these. So um, nothing new to me, really. Um, all these clips kind of clip in together. The one risk that you do run uh, especially in a colder climate area today it's uh, minus two out um, if the vehicle was cold and you brought it in sometimes these panels can crack it doesn't take much for that to happen I don't know what Hyundai was thinking by 
putting these uh, putting this harness backed right in here like this but it's whatever it is what it is you got to deal with it sometimes you got to deal with stupid manufacturers mistakes uh, uh. I'm using just a, a hose pick, a hose tool, guys. This seems to work on these on these clips back here. Try not to puncture the uh, try not to puncture the uh, the seat. Something to be steady, said about having a nice sturdy workplace for these stupid seats. Before we do anything, uh, lay the mat down, make sure it is the right one. Looks pretty good to me. So get this one out of the way. Uh, you do gotta clean out, clean up all these hog rings, uh, the ones that we cut. I know I didn't uh, put the footage in there of me cutting them away because I was a dumbass and I lost it. So uh, just basically go in there, take them all out. This could end up uh, potentially poking your customer in the ass might be a little bit uncomfortable so you get rid of all the evidence that you were in there it's the last thing we need customer comes back and says keep on getting my ass poked what the hell it's not fun it's not the conversation you want to have with a customer Apologize for not showing you guys the disassembly, but I'm gonna make up, make it up to you, and show you the assembly of it. How these go back together. Okay. Put the new seat heater down. Uh, it's just stick and peel and stick. Sometimes when these things are a little bit older, they've been sitting at the warehouse for a little bit longer. 
they uh, tend to not peel off very well, but these ones are coming off nicely, so. These just tuck in like this so that you can put the new the seat pad down. They're not as delicate as you think they are, or delicate as they look, I guess. Okay, pad is on. Let's put on this. Put on the leather. For that, we're going to be using uh, the gear wrench hog uh, hog ring pliers, part number three seven zero two D. Now this comes as a pair. Uh, the ones that I like to use are the straight ones and we got a handful of hog rings sitting here if you guys have never seen them this is how they work they sit right in these little grooves and then you uh, tighten them up and that's what they look that's the outcome of what they look like when they're in the seat <clears throat> so we are going to go ahead and hook these up you guys may not do this the same way as I do, but this is the way I do it, so. You always get those people that think they know everything and it's their way or no way. So just so you guys know that this is the way I do it. I put the hog ring in the hole there and then straight down to the rib. And you're on. Sometimes you miss, sometimes you get it right away. So far, so good. <laughs> oh, shit, we'll go with the center actually. Someone's listening to Steel Panther again. <laughs>
All right, all the hog rings are in. And we can start putting this, uh, wrapping the seat around the cushion. Make sure the leather's all nice and tight. <laughs> oh, how's it look, Manny? Not bad, eh? It's like it was never touched. <laughs> There you go. So now we got to put it back on the frame. I gotta remind myself next time I need to park to come out here and use that. <laughs> <laughs> Real poof of hot air. <laughs> it will pick it up. Oh, yeah. I hate hog rings. I like them. Better than the yeah, better than the plastic clips that yeah, that yeah. some of the ones that they use, they yeah they always break. Oh. Fuck, you're just bitter, eh? Fuck. Bitter about the lunch thing. Do we do we do we get lunch today? Do we get lunch today? So let's sell those. Uh, let's hurry up. So let's hurry up and sell those uh, those headlights or those tail lights so we can have lunch for a couple of fucking weeks. I'm thinking the same thing. Maybe we'll start getting some money from the scrap metal guy now that people aren't pilfering out of the bin. Yeah. I don't know how this one goes on there. Oh yeah. There it is. These little clips here are also responsible for holding that seat tight uh, so that you don't see any uh, wrinkles or anything in the leather. If it's even real leather. <laughs> Ow! Make sure everything's all in there. All right, well, we're ready to put the uh, all the molding back on this thing. So let's get that done out of the way. So many people call me a hack this time. You guys, my repair video, my last Monday video, I had some people calling me a hack. I don't know. I do my I do my best. Try my best to make the customer happy. You know. Do every job to the best of my ability. You know, it's just kind of what I do. Uh, these things clip back in. You can actually hear them clip. And then you just pull that down and you are in. All right, we are ready to go into the vehicle.
Uh, done. Just uh, get all the uh, connectors all hooked back up. I like to uh, prop the seat up with a screwdriver uh, just so that it doesn't come down on you. It'll crush you because. That wouldn't be fun. All right, we can uh, go ahead and hook the battery back up. Well guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Replacing the heated seat pad. So uh, remember guys, uh, if you guys are enjoying this uh, this video series, remember to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, that's pretty much all I got for you guys. Uh, see you guys in the next one. Thank you.